Hello. Today I'm going to share with you a pose called Bardhvajasana. So Bardhvajasana is an open twisting pose and um, it's a great pose that can be practiced by um, many people at many different abilities and levels. It's an, like I mentioned an open twist and it helps to bring uh, flexibility to the spine, to the sides of the trunk. It can help relieve back aches. It is great to massage the uh, tone and massage the abdomen and the other internal organs in the abdomen region. And it also helps to calm the mind by drawing our awareness inwards. So Bardhvajasana, uh, there's actually a Bardhvajasana 1 and also a Bardhvajasana 2. So let me take you through um, the different ways to practice Bardhvajasana. So you can see I'm already in the position, but usually you'd start seated on um, a little bit of height. I have two blankets here, and I'm going to sit on those blankets. In this position, I'm going to bring the right foot underneath this uh, top leg, and that foot will turn to up to the side. Then I'll take the left ankle with the toes pointing straight back. I'll place it into the arch of the bottom foot. So you can see my feet are to the side as I sit down on the blankets. Let me show that from the back. So if we were going to turn to the right, the legs would come to the left. So my right foot comes underneath, and my left ankle with the toes pointing straight back, sit into the arch of that bottom foot. My knees and legs look straight ahead, and I sit up evenly here. Again, we're going to turn, so I'll stay here and show you from the back. So my feet are to the left as we turn to the right now, and I'll bring the right hand behind and the left hand on the outside of this um, right knee. From here, I'll press down into the shins, press down especially into the root of that left hip that likes to come up, and using the hands, I'll lift the trunk up. Keeping the trunk even on an exhalation, I'll turn the waist, I'll turn the back ribs, and I'll really draw the shoulder blades back and down to turn my top chest. Now, as I turn my chest, I'll let my head, and allow my head to look and turn with my chest. Try to look to the side or over the back shoulder. All right, so I come back to the center. So coming with me now again, we'll bring the left foot underneath, pointing out to the side. Take the right ankle and place it in that left arch, toes pointing straight back. Sit up tall, pressing the shins down, lift the sides of the trunk, and on an exhalation, Turn away from the feet, so now we're turning to the left, left hand behind you, and your right hand on the outside of your left knee. So again, press the shins down. Press, especially the root of the right hip down, and with your hands to you, uh, help you lift your trunk up. And on the exhalation, now turn your waist, turn your back ribs, and roll the shoulders back and down. Lift your chest, and turn your head. And then come back to the center. And now between sides, you want to stretch your legs out. Now for the full pose of Bardhvajasana um, 1, so if um, we go ahead and take your legs over to the left again, we're actually going to hold the upper arm. So if we're going to turn this way, the right hand will hold the left arm above the elbow. In this position, you have to really roll the shoulders back and down. Now, if you go to turn and you can't get the hand on the outside of the thigh, then you would use a strap. So you can have a small loop. If you don't have a strap with a loop on it, you can certainly just put a, 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 any sort of strap you have around your arm. Otherwise, you put a loop around the arm and using the strap to lengthen your arm, then you'll be able to turn and bring the hand on the outside of the knee. So let me turn around and face you and do the full bar of Vajrasana one. So we're going to turn to the, to the right first. So go ahead and take your legs to the left. Sit up tall, pressing the shins down, pressing both of the hips down, lift the uh, trunk, sides of the trunk up evenly. From here, you're going to take the right hand and hold above the left elbow. If you need to use your strap, shoulders back and down and seeing that as you open the chest you still sit down into the hips into the buttock bones so that you don't push the abdomen and the front ribs way forward. 
Draw the back ribs in with your arm touching those back ribs. Take a nice deep inhalation and with an exhalation now turn, swing the arm around and bring on the outside of the thigh. Now the tendency is to lean that way, so press the shins down. Press the, especially the root of the left thigh down. Inhale, and with an exhalation now, walk that hand down your leg towards your knee and as you stretch your left arm straight, use that to pull your right arm around and turn you. And come back to the center. Stretch your legs out for a moment. All right, take your legs over to the right. We'll be turning to the left. Situate your seated posture and sit and um, you know, sit tall. Now, because we're going to be turning, um, taking the right hand over, the left hand will hold above the right arm, or you can use your strap. Really, uh, take your shoulder blades back and down, and lift and spread your chest as you sit into your um, hips. Inhale, and with an exhalation now, turn, swing that arm around, and walk the hand down your thigh and towards your knees, stretching that left, or sorry, your right arm straight to help you turn your trunk around. Roll your shoulders back and down as you lift and turn your top chest a little more. And now try to look over your back shoulder. All right, and come back to the center and stretch your legs out. Now you're going to repeat that pose, or you can join me in um, Bardhajasana 2. Bardhajasana 2 has a different leg position. So if we are going to um, turn to the right now, we are going to um, take or lead the left leg in what we call Virasana position. So the, that foot is just straight back, and then your right leg and foot is coming into a Padmasana position. So a half lotus position. Still, you can have support under the hips. And that foot should come right up to the um, uh, root of the left thigh. Sit up tall. Now, if you're not taking this leg position, just take both legs over to the left again, and you'll repeat um, the, like the last pose we did. Now, turning away from the feet, turn to the right, bringing your left hand on the outside of that Padmasana leg, and start with your other hand behind you. And then bring that back arm around your waist and then come forward and take a hold of your foot, your Padmasana foot. Now, if you can't get a hold of that foot, again, you could use your strap around your foot to make that a little bit longer and to hold on. If you're repeating Barbajasana 1, you can certainly hold the upper arm. Inhale, pressing the shins and the legs down, lift the trunk up, and on the exhalation, Turn your waist, turn your back ribs, roll the shoulders back and down, and turn your top chest. And come back to the center. Whatever leg position you're in, stretch your legs out. And now we'll be going to the, um, taking the legs to the right. So your right leg will come into Virasana if you're doing Bhargajasana too. Your left leg will come into Ardha Padmasana or half Padmasana, half lotus position. Otherwise, just take both your legs to the right to repeat Bhargajasana 1. Press the thighs and the shins down, lift your trunk up. Inhale and on the exhalation now, turning to the left, bring your left hand behind you and your right hand on the outside of your uh, left thigh and sit up tall. Now, you can certainly, again, hold the upper arm like you would in Barbadrasana 1. Otherwise, you're going to take that left arm around onto your back waist and come forward and hold that Padmasana foot. Again, press the thighs down. Press the shins down. Lift the trunk up. And on the exhalation now, turn. Turn the waist. Turn your back ribs. Roll the shoulders back and down. And lift and turn your chest. back to the center and stretch your legs out. All right, so that is Bhargavajasana 1 and Bhargavajasana 2. I'm going to show you one last way to practice Bhargavajasana, especially if it's hard for you to sit on the floor um, and it's hard on the joints, or if you're just um, wanting something that's a little bit uh, more accessible, um, just even for the day. I have a 
chair, and now this is a yoga chair, um, but certainly any chair would work. So you're going to be taking and using the chair to twist. So if I have the chair back this way, that means I'll be twisting towards the back of the chair. So I sit into the chair seat with my legs and feet to the pointing to the side. I sit up tall. And then on exhalation, I turn and hold the back of the chair. I keep pressing my feet down. And on exhalation, I can use the chair to both pull down and lift up and to help me turn. So my back hand pushes, my front arm pulls me as I turn my waist, turn my back ribs, and once again, I roll the shoulders back and down to turn my top chest. And of course, if you were going to um, do the other side, you can turn the chair around and twist going the other way. So by sitting down, I inhale and pull down to lift up. And on exhalation, I push and pull to turn my trunk. And then I come back to the center. So that's a way you can use the chair. And as you can tell, that takes um, the ease out of the seated position, out of the legs and the knees and the hips. Although if you're doing the seated position, it's really great for the joints. So this is Barb Vajrasana. Um, not only done with the chair, but on the floor, both Barb Vajrasana 1 and 2. Um, these poses can be beneficial to repeat numerous times. I hope you enjoy practicing them and stay healthy and stay safe.